Hello everyone and welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker, which is a new Steam early access game. Right now we're just going through the startup. So as you can see we've got our apartment presumably on Earth and received an update on our application to the Shipbreaker program. Greeting citizen, it seems that we'd be assigned to station 42. Thirty clones and a seventy-five thousand dollar clone fee. And we shall choose that we wish to eat a plastic free meal preference. Except that does not appear to be allowed. <laughs> and our employee confirmation form, which is a rather scary set of things that you have to agree to which culminates in stating that you will vote for the Chancellor which presumably is the one associated with Lynx Corporation and equally terrifying employee confirmation confirmation form So let's get started and jump right into it, begin breaking our first ship down. We'll view the catalogue. There are two types of ships in the game at the moment, it's still early access, so there's the Gecko, which is a big transport ship, which comes in two variants, the station opera and the cargo, and there's the Mackerel, which is a small shuttle which comes in heavy cargo, light cargo, cargo and a station hopper so there's a few versions of each ship and depending on how easy and hard they are you see the ratings there various hazards what systems they have etc let's go for an easy mackerel which is probably the simplest in the game and we'll go for light cargo just to keep things nice and simple first things first tether and pull yourself. It's significantly faster. Then you can decelerate right over your target and begin to pop bits off however you want. In this case, it's a nice simple one. You can just cut the cells off and tether them down onto the barge so they're collected. No need to faff about with the fuel, engines, anything like that. Okay. 
and off they go. Easy peasy. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Now, as you can see, this Your scans it, levels indicating that there's a pressurized environment inside, so we can't just pop it without blowing chunks out of the poor ship. So we're going to cycle through the air lock pressure levels increasing. and take a look inside. That's nice. There's an oxygen canister for us. Nothing in the back, just the reactor. Quick check of the pilot's compartment. It's a data drive. These give you little snippets of information about the world of hard space shipwrecker. And you see that little number that's 470 ticking upwards. That's how many seconds of oxygen you have. And while you're in a pressurized environment like this, your, your suit will pull in oxygen from the air and recharge, which is really useful. So I'm just going to cut the tethers, I'll cut the joints on one side. So nothing's going to go popping off yet. And just after that, I will pull all the oxygen out. So there we go joints cut on one side, we go and cycle the atmosphere out of the ship. Air pressure level decreasing. And now that's depressurized, you can see it says that in the bottom right, we start to chop the bits out of the vessel. Easy peasy. And that's the first panels tethered away. These ones you don't necessarily need to waste a tether on, which I can see only have 20 left. You can use your grapple gun to chuck them about. Credits deposited. And the man likes to give you the occasional thumbs up, which is cool of him. Same for the top, let's just pop the top panels off and throw them in the processor. This is the reactor, it doesn't appear to be plumbed into anything. So after we grab the utility key, we can simply pop it off and tether it directly to the barge, which collects all the components. Obviously you see that little alarm signal, that's signifying it's melting down, but all is well. We are in no danger whatsoever, I promise you. Right, next thing, let's pop the front off. There's not much to do in the interior crew space of this mackerel. cargo door we're just going to quickly tether that to the barge we could cut the yellow section off it but I seem to have tethered the wrong part so it doesn't really matter salvage secured account credit applied whoops slight miss but the processor and the furnace have their own little gravitational pulls, so they don't have any issues with that. You can sort of miss by a bit and they still go in there. quickly clear out the as you can see pull things towards yourself too fast damage is done be a little bit careful here it's one of the more finickety bits you can kind of Pull things out and try to whack yourself in the face with them. 
Now, normally I wouldn't bother with all this finickety bullshit, but I do need a certification of salvaging, I think it's 150 electrical pieces. So, you have to bear with me for a moment while I pull all the power bits off the ship. Oops. Ouch. As you can see, you get a bit overconfident and you cook your health a little bit, which is unfortunate. Anyway, having done that, got everything I want out of it, I will quickly tether it there and hopefully it's detached. Perhaps not though. Oh yes it is, excellent. This lets us into the side compartments of the ship. As you can see it's double hulled. And once we cut these free we can pull them all into the processor. After yanking out the cooling tank. Which goes onto the barge. Easy peasy. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Now, I don't think there's anything particularly valuable in there, so I'm just going to gently pull this out. These are not something you want to bang about because they kind of explode. And then just stick the whole cockpit into the processor. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. There's still more things I could pull out of there, but I really can't be bothered. Next up, off to the back, where we pull off the thruster cap, chuck that in there, and just simply pull out the thruster. No messy bits attached to it, because it's a very simple breakdown, this one. It's a easy rated mackerel. Quick check, there's nothing in there. And then, what have we got in here? We have pipes and fuel. Light on. Let's squeeze through this bit. So there's the fuel. I've got to be very careful where I'm cutting here. Do not want anything to explode. Uh, oops. <laughs> See, even when you're taking your time, you can make mistakes. In that case, I had forgotten to depressurize the airlock and it kind of exploded but all in, all in the you know casual day's work it saves me a bit of time I can, I can just tether that straight into the processor and forget about it while I pull off the fuel where I'm a bit lucky it didn't ignite any of the fuel or anything and off it goes fairly well but yeah you can see how easy it is to make a mistake and things go horribly horribly wrong in this case in this case everything's all right I had kind of disassembled the ship enough that nothing near to the airlock exploded but <laughs> it's hardly hardly guaranteed as you can see I'm about to run out of oxygen I will make sure that everything is in there and just haul ass back to my hand so yeah that's a very short 10 minute breakdown of a mackerel with only one real mistake which was popping the airlock. Thanks a lot guys.